I had that moment again where a Christian saw my office. That's always fun. I had relatives over, one of them wanted to see my studio. Right. He knew what I did for a living. He wanted to see where the magic happened. And that's awkward because he's very much a believer and a vocal one. And my studio, which is also my office, is very much atheist. It's decorated with shit that listeners gave me, right, over the years. So there's a license plate that says atheist. There's atheist t-shirts. There's a painting of sword mouth Jesus. It's a lot for Christians to take in. So he looks around. He does the facial expression equivalent of the sign of the cross. And, and then his eyes land on my bookshelf. Specifically, the shelf with the Bible and all the religious reference materials. And as I lingers there for a moment, and I know that part of it is because he's jealous that my Bible is bigger than me, but finally he formulates the question. And it's the same question they always ask, so much so that it was rude for me to force him to formulate it rather than just handing it to him on a fucking card or something. He says, if you're not a Christian, why are you so interested in Christianity? And sometimes this question is accusatory, right? They, 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 they're they trying to imply that I secretly believe in their God and I've got all this stuff because I'm inextricably drawn towards their truth. But I didn't get that impression in this instance. He was just genuinely curious, and that makes it a hard question to answer. Not because the answer is hard to say, mind you, but because it's hard to hear. Because his question is exactly backwards. What makes religion interesting is precisely the fact that it isn't true. Why the fuck would you be interested in it if it was true? Right? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm interested in the truth of the world as much as anybody else. But if Christianity were true, then the ultimate answers are known. And there's not much more to see. The, the answer to the fundamental question is magic. And any look into the religion itself is just satisfying a curiosity about you know, fucking interior decorating choices their God made when he created the universe. But that's just what it does to regular questions. The questions about religion itself fare even worse if you're a believer. Questions like, who is God? What is God like? And why is God like that? Are all cheapened to sheer knickknackery if he's a real dude. They're not much more interesting or profound than questions like, who is Dave? And why is Dave the way he is? Of course, religion isn't real, so questions about God's nature are imbued with all kinds of really cool meaning, right? Who a culture's God is and what that God is like tells you a lot about their cultural values. Learning how their God got like he is tells you a lot about their shared history. Looking at how they interact with that God tells you about their cosmology. Studying the way they relate to their deity tells you about their sociology. That's all really interesting shit. And it, it, it's gone as soon as you believe in one of the gods, right? You have to divide your world then into people who are religiously correct and incorrect. And at best, you can only ask your really interesting questions about people outside your group. I mean, sure, you can ask about your own God, and no doubt you will. You can ask why your God wants this type of calf as a sacrifice and not that one. You can ask why he's got a thing against shellfish. You can ask why he chooses the symbols that he chooses. But until you can step outside the religion and view those questions from an objective historical perspective, you can't answer them correctly. Because if God's real, the reason he wants this or that sacrifice can't be dependent on the availability or value of certain draft animals in the 5th century BCE Levant or whatever. It has to be because God likes that flavor of animal or whatever. It has to be because God likes that particular flavor. And, and, and it breaks down even further when you start talking about comparative religion. I mean, the most interesting aspect of religion, if you ask me, is comparative. But if you're standing inside one of the face, the only meaningful comparisons are right versus wrong. You can't even compare your own religion to itself a hundred or a thousand years ago because to do so would be to admit that it isn't the universal, unchanging, absolute truth that it purports to be. So why am I, a non-Christian, interested in Christianity? Because I'm honest enough to see what the interesting bits are. Because I'm actually allowed to ask why it is the way that it is and how it got there and consider multiple perspectives along the way to an answer. And when I find an interesting question, I'm allowed to pursue it no matter where the answer leads. And let me tell you, the coolest places it tends to go are the ones that the Christians are least allowed to follow. So yeah, as strange as it is to say, it looks like we can fairly add the benefits of religion to the huge list of shit that religion robs you of. 